Today, I'm gonna to walk you through everything you need to know about Creative Fabrica and show you a little bit about how you can use it for your crafting projects. If you're new here, my name is Allison and I inspire you to make fun new projects and make money while you do it. If you don't know, Creative Fabrica is basically a marketplace with fonts, designs, images, even classes, and a lot of different features that you can either download different elements a la carte, or you can have a subscription where you get unlimited downloads with your membership. I've been a member and been using Creative Fabrica for the last five years, and I it is something that I cannot ever give up. Um, as a creative business owner, as a handmade business owner, as just like a serial crafter, I use its features just about every single day. If you are a handmade business owner or want to be a business owner, this is something that I feel like you can't live without. But even if you're a hobby crafter, there are so many good features to keep you inspired, keep you motivated, and keep your projects fresh. Um, and it's only $47 a year right now. I think that is still a Black Friday special, but I pay $60 a year and it is well, well worth it to pay so little every single month for as many fonts, graphics, designs that I need. So I'm going to walk you through all of the different features from fonts, SVGs, PNGs, and the AI features that they offer. And if at any point you're like, yep, I'm ready to get that membership, consider using my link that I have underneath this video. So let's go ahead and get started so I can show you exactly why I use this every single day as a crafter. So this is what the Creative Fabrica website looks like. I'm not currently logged in because I just wanted to show you, like if you see something, they do have prices and you can buy individually. Now I have the membership, um, that's $47 a year and it is well, well worth it because you get commercial use rights, you can do print on demand, all of those things. Um, but I just wanted to give you a, um, a look of what you can even get and that it will have prices next to it unless I'm about to log in and so you'll see it won't have any prices anymore. It's because I can download unlimited amounts of fonts and graphics to use in my projects. So like I said, Creative Fabrica is really like sort of an ecosystem of all of the different elements that you might need to create a variety of different projects. I want to take a closer look at sort of each of the different things that they offer. And I'll talk a little bit about more like about what I use specifically. I don't actually use all of the features available. I mostly use just a couple. And that, so I'm gonna just walk through how you can use them. So let's start with fonts. The, the main thing I use Creative Fabrica for is for different fonts because I personally like to try to find new fonts. Sometimes specific projects or designs just need like a very specific kind of font and, and things just don't work. And I also like to use different fonts that from what I see like everybody else using. So I try to find like similar things, but I pretty much download a new font every single day depending on what I am making. So in the font screen, you can see that it's broken down. You can get script fonts, so that's like cursive. Display fonts are more kind of like fun, colorful, or, or this one's like a Grinch. These are what they call display fonts. And you've got serif and sans serif. So remember a serif font is with, usually has like the little like lines on the top. So you can see this K right here. See how it has like the lines on the K. That's what a serif font is. And then sans serif means without. So you can see here, these don't have like the little, um, I don't, I don't know, serifs on them um, for you to use, but there are so many fun fonts and then you can sort by most popular. You can sort by all sorts of different things. They have different things as well. They've got like more of like the black letter style fonts that are popular, especially at the holiday time and more decorative fonts um, with a little more, you know, theme to it or um, glyphs or whatever. So there's so many things for you to do and download. So I'm just gonna actually show you how to download one right now. I really like this onion font actually, and I can see myself using it. So if you're a member, you can just go ahead and download it. If you're not, you will purchase it and then download it. Um, so for me, it downloads right away. You'll unzip 
the file, you can install it onto your computer. So you can see like my whole downloads folder is like full of things I've downloaded recently. So you're just gonna install it onto your computer and then you can use it in your program. So you can get as many fonts as you would like for specific projects. And the best part about having the membership is that it comes with the commercial rights usage, which I'll talk to a little bit later. So then we've got PNGs and graphics. So PNGs are images that have um, a transparent background. You might download load this and use it for sublimation or for stickers or anything really. Um, you can go ahead and browse through those, but you can also look at different like patterns. They've got like digital paper. So you could print patterns. You could use it as a background. Um, use these for sublimation. You can look at all of these graphics that they have. They have it broken down. You could get like product mock-ups. You could get logo mock-ups. They've got Canva designs, like all sorts of things that you can use as a business owner. So here are some mock-ups of, you know, different things like this crew neck gildan sweater is obviously super popular it's going to come with different mock-ups in all of these different colors and if you're a member you can just download them and it's super awesome i really like using illustrations um i love just how these look and using different elements for um my sublimation tumblers mugs and stuff like that but you can also search as well so a lot of times i'll be like okay i want a Santa SVG. And so an SVG is something that you would put in your Cricut or your cutting machine and cut the lines out in vinyl. Um, the more of the PNGs or images would be more for printing purposes, like sticker making or card making or um, sublimation crafts and stuff like that. So it helps to put in what you want and then you can even filter out what you do. So like here, sometimes things are labeled as like specific t-shirt designs, although you don't have to use them for t-shirt designs. Um, that's kind of what their intended use was. So you can go through and sort of look through all of these things. There's different 3D crafts. So you could get, you know, 3D flower, um, whether they're images or patterns for like making paper, you can get home decor, um, the more you can type in the search bar, the better, but it's also broken down here. Like usually I just come in and search for what I'm looking for. They're broken up by crafts, so you can, uh, or by um, season, so you can look for like Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, stuff like that. There are knitting patterns, crochet patterns, cross stitch patterns, which is super awesome. There's print on demand. So if you're looking to add print on demand in your business where you are designing things, but you're outsourcing where it's made, you have the rights to do um, print on demand with these specific like print on demand um, assets. Otherwise, you don't have the right. So you just have to make sure you know what you're doing. Um, there's different bundles, especially if you don't have a membership. These are usually like super discounted bundles you can get, different fonts, designs, stuff like that. So if you are a hobby crafter looking for, um, looking for some tutorials, and I know obviously you're here watching me on YouTube, you can find a lot on here. They do have classes that you can take as a member. Um, I think I've never actually taken a class, so I can't speak to the quality, but it looks like, you know, you can see how many students are in them. So if, if they're still there, this many students are taking them, then they're probably pretty decent. But if you're looking for some quick tutorials, you can um, check out those classes. There's a lot of different tools. There's like a teacher club resource, which is super awesome. Like you, it says that you can get, you know, five resources per week for $3 a year. And it's like, a, I think like a teacher's pay teacher's situation. Um, you can look at some inspiration. There are some feeds if you're kind of looking for some new ideas. This is a good place to look, not only here, but even at just like the popular like graphics and PNGs and different things. Like looking at sort of what people are downloading might give you um, and, and some sparks, some ideas. Or you can, you know, mix and match different elements that you find. And the last piece that I wanted to talk about was the spark area. There's several different pieces, but this is basically the 
AI section of the website and there's a f- different aspects of it. So it's you can create art, you can um, create PNGs, you can create patterns, you can um, ha- have it help you write things. So if you're like a business owner and you want to start writing things for necess- like so many different things, emails or Instagram or stuff like that, you could use it. But also like Advertise, it says right here, like advertisements or greeting cards. You can use that to help you form some of your copy. Um, you can make coloring pages. You can take an image that all you already have and mix it up. So if you're like, I like this one, but I don't want to use this exact one. I need it to be a little bit different. You can use this image mix. You can create black and white sketches, um, which is super fun. And then there's a prompt builder um, because a lot of the times this is all AI. So you have to tell it what to do and your prompts are really, really important. So I've made a few PNGs with this creative spark crystalline. And here's one I just did recently. I typed in watercolor style holiday village scene. Um, And that's really cool. I'm going to actually show you how like a different prompt might change this a little bit. So I'm going to say watercolor style holiday village scene in neutral colors. So like I love neutrals. So then I'm going to press ignite and I'm going to see sort of what this pops out. And then you can use these designs for your projects. Now, This area is for members only, and you do um, have to use like credits. You only get so many credits. So this one is super cute. It has one house, but the colors are more neutral. You could put in, you know, you want multiple houses. You can keep adding your different um, prompts till you get what you want. It's like that one's really fun. I've made some stickers with that or use the elements like in backgrounds. Um, You can create coloring pages, which is super fun. And like a big thing that people like to do. So I've never um, made one, but so I don't have any. But like, let's say I wanted to do a, I don't have no idea. Um, I've never done this before. So we're doing it in real time. Um, Let's say we wanted to do a, let's say a princess castle with lots of elements to color in and surrounding area is woodsy. So like, how cute is this? This is like um, a castle with some woodsy elements around the outside and you could color it. So like, that's really fun. So this is obviously for members. So again, I have a membership. I literally use it every day. It is like the single most important aspect of like things I pay for to run my business, but they also have different ideas. Like you can look at AI art, you can look at all of the different ways you can use their AI. So that's really, really helpful. So all of this to say is that I really like Creative Fabrica and I like how it is set up. I have a membership elsewhere and I feel like this is just more streamlined. There are so many different options. I can just download as many things that I want versus another membership that I have. I have to buy credits. I think the other ones that exist, it's like you're, you have a membership, but you're really just buying credits and then you can redeem the credits and you only have so many. Like I like that this is just like straight up unlimited and it's super, super easy to use. If you're not ready to start a membership, they do have free resources. You can see how those go. You can see if anything will work with you, but I truly use something from create creative fabrica almost every single day and i almost download something new for every project that i do because you're always looking for something specific sometimes you just need a little bit of a different font and i highly recommend that you check it out i actually just looked my membership is 15 i paid 60 dollars a year that's what i pay so i can it looks like i can add an extra year for 47 which i probably will do so that's like a really good deal and I highly recommend it. If you are considering signing up for a membership, please consider using my link underneath this video. It helps support the channel and allows me to make more videos just like this. I'm gonna link a video on your screen with a tutorial where I'm using some of the elements that I got from Creative Fabrica to make a tumbler.